Hello Formula One car fans, but you have to also like cartooned cars because these are them. So uh, if you're unfamiliar, Asahi beer, most people know that, but Asahi apparently makes all sorts of beverages in Japan. And so they have the whole line of coffees and they try to push these coffees every now and then with some free promo toys. And so these things would come on two cans of coffee around that size and that's what's going on. So let's close this screen out because it's kind of distracting. So here we have, uh, we don't have the whole collection. I opened this one up because I couldn't read what, what the text said inside of there. But uh, yeah, you just have tape here. And then uh, let's get this off the, the actual thing. There's like a little hook here, but there we go. It, it's really difficult to actually get the model off that hook. So I took uh, some pliers and squeezed that tooth together. So it looks like the paper inside of this is the same. And let's take this out and take a look here. So here we have a collection of like 10 different cars. And it's celebrating the 15th anniversary of Art and Senna. I'm not sure what the anniversary date is. You know, if it's his first win or, you know, sadly maybe it's when he, he passed away. Okay, well anyways, so you can kind of see on this side here, I'll just focus. You can pause and see what cars there are and then pause and see what cars there are here. I seem to be missing uh, uh, one or two of them. So I'm looking for a date now. Uh, did you see a date? Uh, 2009. Oh, sorry, if I lost focus, I was just looking at the paper with my own eyes. But yeah, you can clearly see it says 2009 three times. So one would have to assume <laughs> this came out in 2009. Maybe there was like a, a show at the Suzuka circuit because, you know, why else would that text be there? Here's some Japanese statistics on, on the gentleman. I guess he passed away in 1994. Uh, and probably wins and all that stuff. So anyways, the paperwork here is specific to each toy inside of this thing. So right now we have the 1986 uh, Lotus 98T. So it's nice that they tell you that. So let's take a look at this guy here. And you can see uh, it's got Eagle and Goodyear printed on there nicely. I gotta say that the tires are very flat sided. I mean, they look like cookies, raw cookie dough or something. So that's not very good. These are pullback toys, by the way. So those are rubber tires because it needs traction. It's probably a standard Cherokee size uh, motor. And it looks like a screw is holding the front there. And then there's a tab back here holding the back. I do like that the tires are staggered in size like an F1 car and Instituto Art and Senna. So there must be some sort of institute for the gentleman. Um, okay, uh, you can see it's got the John Player special livery there. It's got some sponsorship, number 12, more sponsorship. Oh, maybe this is all of his championships here by this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Anyways, unfortunately it doesn't tell you what the car is on the bottom, so I'm going to have to put some stickers on these things in a moment here. So we got this wing. It's really pretty thin, actually, for a toy. I mean, this is a pullback toy that's probably going to hit walls. So I'm actually surprised that they have molded this thing so thin. But I like it. And it's nice that there's a helmet, and it actually has, like, a, a green stripe. And Oh, yeah, green and blue. I think that might... I don't know if that's a decal or paint. And I think it is paint because it's a toy. And it actually has his name there, and it's actually legible, so that's impressive. Anyways, our antenna is uh, Brazilian, I believe, and I think those are maybe the colors of Brazil. Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong. Yeah, so maybe these are world championship icons or something. So this is a strut here. All right, so, well, it's a very simple toy, right? So, but I do like that the gold pinstriping goes around here. It's, it's well printed. You gotta remember, this thing was free. No one actually bought this thing except for me. <laughs> uh, sadly, the wheels here, there's no, they're not passing air, but I think that has to do with the fact that this is a toy and some kid literally might step on this thing. So, okay, let's uh, get that one out. Let's look at the next one, uh, and I didn't show you the back because I, I cut the other one. So it actually tells you on the packaging, you know, which, which actual model you have. So the sticker is different, so this is an MP4 and all that stuff. And so that's very convenient, right? So you know what, let me come back, I'm going to cut all these things open, and then uh, I'm going to take them out, actually, or I'll actually show you 
me opening up one up fresh here to show you that tab and how difficult it is. So just take a little razor. Hobby knife action in there. Okay, so that's easy to open. It's this part that's difficult. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna break the base, you know, because it's plastic. So I'm not sure why. <laughs> I guess they had to make it firm enough that uh, shipping. Now also look, these are pretty small pliers. I can't get it underneath the plastic without fear of scratching it. So I'm gonna have to actually, uh, Maybe it'll be easier if I clip it off. Let me get some of my cheap clippers here. I'm not going to keep this packaging. And then, yeah, you probably have to... Uh, then, I guess I can squeeze this. Yeah, see, so that's really strange. Well, again, it's probably because they're afraid of the car breaking loose during shipping, but honestly, if it's a free car, who's going to care, right? All right, so it's all the same paperwork and all that stuff, so, so that's what it looks like. All right, let's, we might as well con continue finishing the review of this then before I open all the other ones. So you'll see the sponsorship has changed. Uh, this has an Olympus camera on it, and it literally says John Player Special, which is great. That's a tobacco company. A lot of like model car companies censor tobacco, which is, I think, silly. Yeah, I think it's just silly. Anyways, uh, maybe it's because Asahi's a beer company. They don't care. Okay, yeah, all the same nice gold printing is really nice. Yeah, and then you'll notice the mold is actually different. It's not the same mold. They literally molded a different car. This wing is different from the last one. It's still a single strut, but look at the uh, look at the side plates on the wing. Uh, top view, let's see if the pods are different. Now, the side pods look... Hold on. I gotta hit focus. I don't have three hands. The side pods look the same, but clearly the front wings are different. The front and rear wings are different. Uh, I wonder if the... no. I was going to think maybe the, they just changed the, the bottom and the wing to make it different, but no. It looks like the front wing is molded as part of this body. The bottom piece looks the same, but anyways, it's literally a different mold. So, pretty interesting. Okay, let me pause and come back with the other ones. All right, I cut them open and actually label the bottoms. As I was looking at it, I realized they actually number them. So this is number two in the collection here. And it seems like I'm missing numbers three and 10. Hopefully one day I'll get them. Anyway, so number two, and I didn't even notice this. It has a nice blurb on here. Maybe we could learn a little bit about this uh, McLaren MP4-4, 4 slash 4 that is. It's a V6. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. That's all I know. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, you'll see this one's quite yellowed, uh, even though it's new. It's just old, right? Uh, so, uh, all this stuff is tampo printed. All these colors. There's no decals. It was really cool. All right. Same wheels. Same uh, tires. Uh, it's just a different body. <laughs> it's really funky. The trunketing. Uh, the helmet even has a little bit of a different paint job going on there. You would think the helmet would be all the same. I don't know what the deal is with this. Look at this wing. It's got this little arrowhead, but it's on both sides, so it's intentional. Okay, it's a single strut there. All right, let's put that one back. So I'm missing number three, but we'll go to number four. And, uh, that is... Uh, the Williams FW16 from 1994, and I can't make out any of that story other than 1994. So, that unfortunately, is not very helpful. So, we have a white body, we have some gold and red stripes around this thing. Oh, now the wheels have yellow printing, although that one's not centered very well, but the wheels are still the same. Uh, I said the tires have yellow printing. Anyways, all the sponsorship is legit. Magneti Morelli is legit. Elf, Renault, right? So it's interesting. It actually has real sponsorship. And then I think this is Rothman's, this colorway. Uh, I don't know if that says. No, nope, that's our antenna. I don't know what this... Uh, maybe it's not Rothman's cigarettes. Maybe this is just some sort of weird elf livery or something. Number two. See, now this is a funky wing, right? Different wing. Yeah, I will label them because in the future I will never remember what these are. But I do like that they have helmets in them. 
Okay, so number five in the overall collection. Uh, this one. I realize some of them, if you rock it back and forth, the arrow will actually, uh, not the arrow, the like, well, arrow-headed mount, I guess you would call it. I don't know what you would call this thing. The snap fit thing. You'll let go, but obviously you saw it didn't work on this one. See, look, it's literally tearing the uh, bottom off. So I don't think you should force force it. I think you'd be better off just cutting it, the base out. So this one, I don't know if it's a real car. I think it's a fantasy. It just yeah. See, it says Seninha because Singa or Asahi. No, I don't know. Wait a sec. This does look real because it has 1994 and a whole bunch of blurbage. Let me look this up. Hold on. Okay, well, it looks like there is uh, some sort of logo or mascot and other toys with this Seninha thing. There's literally a guy wearing like a comical art and Senna head. And then here is a film uh, on the Crazy Race 2018. So what do you know? You learn something new. Okay, back to this thing then. I'm wondering what casting it is. Uh, so actually, now look at the tires. It literally has the Sendenha instead of Goodyear on it. So interesting. The wheels are still the same. Uh, still got that helmet there. A little black in the cockpit. Uh, so this S logo here. And the wing is interesting there. I, you know, I haven't seen this actual cutout yet. So this is so far a new mold. Okay. Well, not much to talk about on that one. <laughs> All right, we've already seen the that other John Player special. So now the next one, which is number seven in the collection, is a Camel cigarette livery. So powered by Honda in this case. And it's yellow, and I guess the plastic is yellow. And this is the 99T from 1987. And back to the Goodyear Eagle tires. Right, pointy nose, same helmet it looks like, yeah, a little silver up here in the roll hoop, and uh, yeah, more complex looking wing. So, Alright, well, that's that one. Let's get all this out of here. I hate trash, I hate to see all this plastic end up in the ocean, but I mean, what am I going to do? I can't keep it. So number 8 here is the 1990 MP4 slash 5B. Um, oh. Ah, let's see, going back to this, is there anything useful to read in this uh, camel one? Uh, I guess they changed from J the John Player Special Livery to camel now, still V6. Alright, so there really isn't actually <laughs> anything worthwhile. And then on this piece of paper, anything worthwhile here? <sighs> no, not for me at least. Okay. Alright, yeah, MP4 slash 5. Slash 5B, just a rectangular wing, nice sponsorship on the end plates there, so it's still powered by Honda, it's got the name. I think, I don't know if the boss is a cigarette, no it's not. This is a Marlboro uh, livery, but it doesn't say Marlboro, maybe at this time they stopped saying the actual brand of cigarettes. The watch company there, alright, so all the sponsorship is there, oh and look at this, this might be the same casting now. Cause look at the front wing, the shape of it. Oh, wait a sec, I'm wrong. Cause look at this, look at this. It's got like a double hump here on the nose, whereas this one does not. So maybe. Oh, and actually, the end plates of the front wing are totally different as well. So interesting. That's still a unique casting, even though it's a really funky livery. All right, so number nine, the very last one for today, is the. Uh, MP4 slash 6 that ran in 1991. It's now powered by a V12. Interesting. Okay. And that's all I know. So, same old tires and wheels look good. Uh, similar sponsorship as the last one. Marlboro livery. And now it's got the number one on there. Show us a shock company for motorbikes. I guess maybe they make, well, I don't know if they make car shocks or not. All right, a lot of similar stuff, and then again, uh, the nose there, uh, I mean the wing looks the same. I wonder if these are the same castings. Uh, the front wing definitely looks the same. 
Uh, nope, the end plates are totally different again. So it's, it's different. <laughs> it's, it's pretty un interesting that they went through all this trouble. Yeah, this wing, rear wing is totally different. It's got some crud on it though. Yeah, it's interesting they went through this uh, trouble to make all these unique castings. It's quite interesting. So before I get this thing spinning, I put them in chronological order, starting here in 1985, and the last real one is the 1996. But again, I'm missing two of them, and then this is a weird fantasy one. But here's a 164 scale Aoshima of an FW15C. So that's the 1993 Manufacturer's Championship car. And you can see <laughs> the deformation. Uh, the tires are huge, the thing's shorter. It's around the same width, though. Width-wise, it's around 164. So that's that one. And then I have a Kyosho of a McLaren MP4-6, which is 91. Is it this one? No, this is a 1990, but it's the closest one to it. So yeah, you'll see Kyosho doesn't have a Marlboro livery sponsorship either, so I wonder if this car just didn't have marble written on it. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Alright, well, anyways, you see the size comparison there. So that's it for realistic comparisons. And then the last one is a Choroku. This is an old Choroku of a Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari 312 T3. This thing was, I guess, made between 1980 and 1984. This is an old toy, for sure. So... This, I don't know what year the three, two, I think this is like a 1970s race car. So compared to this old Lotus. I gotta say, these are actually similar in size. They'll fit right next to each other. The Choro Q is more realistic looking, I think. Even though it's, it's not painted or anything. Uh, but mold wise, you know, it's got the bent up top there. Uh, and the, the tires are rounded. They literally have Dunlop on them. The wing is a separate piece. I mean, it's still crude, but look, it's not as crude as this freebie. So I guess that's the thing you gotta really remember. I mean, someone paid a lot of money for this for its, during its day. But this thing, someone just bought two cans of coffee, so maybe they spent like two or three dollars, I bet. Okay, now let's get those things spinning. Alright, well, I'm not sure if I'll be lucky enough to ever track down the last two in this set, but I'm going to take a photograph of that piece of paper and just leave it in my phone, and uh, hopefully I'll find it at another used toy store where I got these. I do see these on eBay, if you really love F1 and deformed vehicles, but I don't really even love F1. I just actually like tuned cars, <laughs> so I'm kind of, you know... I have no desire to buy them off eBay because that place is expensive. Alright, well thank you for watching today and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next deformed video. Bye.